So I'm going to come to you again, Bill, and then follow up with you, Ms. Moss. If I understand this correctly, all standards in the service dog industry, whether in, in Canada or globally, are only applicable to the organizations that develop them and their members' organizations. I just want to make sure that I've got that right. And the other part of that question is, why is it so important to have a, a, a third party organization actually review what the work that is being done? Hopefully that makes sense, Bill. Um, yeah, they're only for that organization's input. For instance, ADI has their standard and it's for their member and it's and it's not made public. There's only one standard right now that is is open for other industry users to use within the service dog world. And that's the uh, Megan search and rescue standard for service dogs. It, it, it's on the website. It's available for people um, to use if they choose the industry. Um, other than that, um, really, there, there is none. Thank you. Ms. Moss. Um, the same question? The same question. And, and the other part is that third party organization. Or, or, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, the, the idea of a national standard of Canada, again, is, is that it remain impartial so that the process is fair when the, the standards is being developed so that it's not leaning toward one particular brand, as I mentioned earlier. And it's not just the brands. If you can appreciate in the service dog world or in any of this work, there are a multitude of different stakeholders from sectors, communities, disciplines, et cetera. So it's important that all of those people at the table um, on the TC, because right now I have to make sure that the TC is going to be balanced. I've got uh, representation uh, for about five different categories, as well as five different regions across the country. So there are rules to establish a national standard of Canada that we are following, obviously, very closely. Um, so having said that, um, in relation to what the current situation is in this environment, in the, in the service dog industry, is again, it's so fragmented, and uh, there aren't any uh, there's no rhyme or reason. Anybody can hang a shingle on their door. And hence why once a standard is actually developed and published by Standards Council of Canada, then there will be um, a, an impartial standard that everybody helped to produce. All of the various stakeholders had an opportunity to produce. Now, those that don't want to participate don't have to. But where it gets interesting is that if the, if the government says, my goodness, this is an amazing job, we, we like what's, what we see here, we're going to reference those standards in our legislation, then it becomes law. So if it becomes law, that, it, that actually uh, puts pressure on the industries, uh, all of the industries involved, to look at what kind of certification is going to happen in terms to comply with the standard, because then it's no longer a choice, it's mandatory. And I, what I would like to add to that is that the process, the way I've been researching this for over 20 years, and one of the nice things about NSCs, not only uh, can they be referenced in legislation, but when it comes to the conformity assessment piece, um, there's a, a huge opportunity of accredited third party uh, accreditation bodies that already exist within Canada's national standard system. So we could turn to those organizations. And, and, and again, organizations may decide that, you know, they don't necessarily want to go through one particular accreditation body. There may be three or four, depending on the organization and the cost of accreditation. So there's a lot of variables that will, will happen at that point in time. But there's definitely an opportunity for um, National Standards of Canada to also inform public policy and um, we can, through the process, the more public sector representation we get, the better, because that way then we can look at our, our, our shared objectives Thank so you. that the standards are, uh, also will achieve those shared objectives. Thank you very much. 